five, five keys in a row, baby. All right, welcome back everybody. It is December 20th, run streak day 78. And as long as I run five kilometers or longer today, I will hit the mark of 75 days of 5K or longer. So that'll be cool. Nice little milestone. So we started our run at Ewing Park. And last time I was at Ewing Park, I went into the Woodland Trails this time I'm going the opposite way and I'm heading towards Easter Lake on the paved trail. And I think I'll probably just have Inga come pick me up at the lake instead of doing an out and back. We'll see, I may end up just running a few miles and then turning back, but I don't think so. I think I'm gonna have her pick me up through this frozen pond out here. really cold today it's about 10 degrees out right now um, with the wind chill it feels like zero big old fat zero that's why I have my mask on and may not take it off much during this run to be honest we'll see maybe once I get warmed up it won't be so bad I really wanted to get a long run in today but I don't think I'm gonna have time Still got a busy day ahead but tomorrow Tomorrow's gonna be really hard to even get a 5K in. I don't know if the streak's gonna continue past tomorrow. The 5K streak, I'll get a mile in at least somehow. But we're expecting a blizzard tomorrow. Tomorrow early afternoon. So that'll be interesting. It's supposed to be 50 mile per hour winds. Snow, several inches of snow. And of course, very cold temperatures. All right, so we made it to Easter Lake already. Only took us 0.7 miles to get here, so it wasn't very long from that parking lot over there. But it's good to know that I don't have to come all the way to the lake to actually run at the lake. I can park over there. Technically, I can run from home if I wanna get a long run in, like do a 10 to 13 mile run. I can run from home and get out here to the lake and back. It's crazy, I think this is just solid ice right here. Stopped here to get a shot for the uh, opening scene of the video. Kind of a bad idea because it's so cold and I'm a little sweaty underneath this. So you get really chilly really fast. The whole you sweat, you die concept is in effect over this next week here. That's for sure. You can get hypothermic real quick doing stuff like that. All right, I'm gonna keep running. Might be really cold out today, but I mean, it's, it's brilliant running out here. So gorgeous the lake is just solid white it's really nice we got a little extra snow that we got yesterday really made today's run a little more enjoyable it's not really icy i've slipped on a few spots but it's not that bad at all i don't even have my clampons on and i'm i'm fine i'm wearing my uh trail running shoes my a6 gel venture eights Oh, speaking of that, I did want to answer a comment that somebody left on my video yesterday. Might as well answer it live on this video. So Straight Edge Vegan Bell asks, how often are you buying shoes at this point? And are you looking for ASICs specifically? Um, and the answer is as often as I can, I am kind of stocking up on shoes right now. In fact, I have a few pairs that I haven't even worn yet. But the streak is, uh, it's taken its toll on shoes pretty quickly. So my other ASICs, the ones that I started the streak in, they're already up over 200 miles. I might get another 100 or two miles out of them, but those ones are almost done. Same with the New Balances, they're getting up to the, I wanna say 100 or a little bit over 100 mile mark. So 
I'm kind of stockpiling shoes right now, just preparing for next year. Um, I'll show what my shoe uh, collection looks like later in the video. I'll go over my uh, running shoe rotation and show you what all I have. Now, as far as looking for ASIC specifically, yes, I am. I found that I, I really, really like them. The uh, insoles are really good. They work well for me anyway. Um, they're more comfortable than the last few pairs of Sacconis that I bought. I think Sacconis are still a good brand and they're still worth buying, uh, especially their upper tier stuff like Kinvara's and uh, stuff like that. But for the cheaper shoes, which is more or less what I'm buying now, I don't wanna buy the upper tier shoes just to blow through them on a running streak. I'm not doing races right now, not doing anything where I need shoes that are built for speed and stuff like that. I just need shoes that I can just wear out over you know the course of a month or two and then get rid of which is why it's so nice to get like that pair the other day of the uh, asics for 25 bucks because hey even if they only last me two months that's fine totally fine this little mask is working pretty good but I think I'm gonna have to break out my thicker one tomorrow for the blizzard run. Man, my glasses are fogging up like crazy today. That's why I haven't been wearing them, but these are prescription, so I see better with them than without them, even if they are a little fogged up. We're coming up to the covered bridge here. All right, here we go, through the covered bridge. So we just hit mile three. We got about another mile, maybe in a mile and a half or so to go till we get to our pickup point at Easter Lake Beach. But we're almost done with the run. Before I'm done though, I wanted to talk about last night's Christmas movie. And that was The Ref. That's R-E-F with Dennis Leary, Kevin Spacey, and Judy Davis. It was a really funny movie, Inga. Had never seen it, so she really enjoyed it. She thought it was really funny. Um, it's definitely not a kid's Christmas movie by any means. There's a lot of swearing and violence and whatnot, but a funny movie nonetheless. I don't know if you can tell, but the condensation on my mask from me breathing into it is now frozen. <laughs> and my face is still warm on the inside, but... <laughs> Look at this, we're out on the lake and this is all just ice in here. Look how crazy that is. This is awesome looking. Okay, made it to the end of the run is 4.1 miles, so a little under my average. It's gonna hurt my average of 4.4 throughout the entirety of the run streak, but that's okay. I wanted to see how thick the ice was here on the lake. It's definitely thick enough to walk on. We're walking on water right now, woo! -hoo! No, but I'll have the Strava information up and all that good stuff. It's a great run. I like starting at that point and running around. I almost made it all the way around the lake. The trail that I came in at is just right over there. Maybe another half mile up the trail is where it splits and you can either go around the lake again or back to Ewing Park. But no, it was a great run. Super fun, super cool out here. Looks amazing. Cannot beat it. All right, we're gonna head back to the apartment. I'll show you the shoes. I'll probably do a what I eat in a day type of thing too. Show you what we eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 
Time to get on with the day. Okay, first meal of the day here, post-run meal. We have a little bit of smoothie action going on here. So Inga whipped us up some smoothies. We got some bananas in there, some almond milk, some spinach, some flaxseed, a little bit of agave nectar, some ice cubes, some blueberries, and some cardamom. So this should be really good. Okay, I just wanna show you guys what we got at the store. Now, the reason why I ended up running at Ewing Park today was because we were right in that area at the store because we knew the blizzard was coming in and so we wanted to just grab a few things just in case we aren't able to get to a uh, store within the next few days. So we'll start on this side here. We got some mandarins, some green onion, a few tomatoes, avocado, two packages of these large flour tortillas. We're gonna do the crunch wraps again and I'll uh, make sure to make an actual video out of that as well. Got a head of lettuce, Got two things of Beyond Meat jerky, and let me explain why here. So on the bigger package, the uh, hot and spicy package, we're using the Ibotta app, which I learned about through Maisha Underwood's channel, and it's pretty handy. You can uh, save some money and get some money back when you're buying things, especially things that you normally buy anyway. So we're getting $1.99 back from this Beyond Meat Jerky, the big package, which ends up making it only $1.99. And then we're getting $1.78 back on the small package, which basically makes it free because it was $1.78. So that's why we bought those. We got a little package of candy canes because Inga wanted candy canes. In fact, we got these little fruity candy canes down here as well to go with the wintergreen ones. We uh, bought another thing of almond milk few cans of the uh, refried beans. We like this particular brand just because it's very minimal ingredients as you can see. Cooked beans, water, salt, that's it. Nothing bad in there at all. And we got a can of mixed chili beans and a couple cans of black beans. Okay, second meal of the day. We're at lunch here and we're just doing a real quick, simple lunch. So we got a salad back there, just some lettuce, some cabbage, some carrots some radishes, just a real simple salad. And then to go with that, we got some bread and some au jus sauce. Okay, here's my running shoe collection here. We're gonna start actually on this side here. So these blue guys, these are my New Balance Fresh Foam 680, I think V7s is what they're called. These are Ciccone Exodus ISO threes or twos, I can't remember, I think it's three. These guys are the Ciccone Switchback twos and they got that little uh, BOA system there so you can just slip them on, there's no shoelaces and you tighten it with the little BOA clip there. These guys, um, Ciccone's as well, these are the Excursion Trail TR. These have quite a few miles on them so I don't use them that much anymore but they're not quite yet retired. Okay, let's go over here. These guys are the ones that I uh, bought right at the start of the running streak. These are the Asics Gelexite Trails. They have about 200 miles on them at this point, but they're still in pretty dang good shape. I'm probably gonna get at least another 100 or 200 miles out of those. Next to these, we have the Asics Gel Venture 8s, which look kind of similar to those, but they're a little bit different. These ones have a little bit more padding on the inside. They're a little bit more comfortable. Down here we have two pairs of ASICs which we haven't worn yet. These are the ASICs Trail Scout 2s. And then these are the ones that I just bought, the Gel Contend 7s. We have made it to dinner. So to start, we got our veggies here. We got some broccoli, some edamame, and some of that frozen kale that I bought the other day. I steamed all that up. It's gonna be nice. And then I also got some soup here. This is the plant-based chicken with rice soup from Well Yes, which I think is a branch off of Campbell's. It's really good soup though. I think I've shown it in a video a couple times before, but really, really good. All right, now to go with dinner, we're gonna find out what movie we're watching tonight. Let me zoom out here. Stir this around a little bit. Oh no. Die hard. This should be a good night. 